Chocolate owes its existence to the cocoa bean. The ancient civilizations of Mexico and Central and South America cultivated the seed to make a drink. The Spanish conquest brought this chocolate drink to Europe, but it wasn't until 1847 that a Swiss company invented solid chocolate. From our four factories in North America, Blommer Chocolate makes chocolate in various forms and sells it to companies which manufacture chocolate products for retail sale. It also supplies chocolate components such as cocoa powder and cocoa butter. Most of the cocoa beans arriving here come from West Africa, which grows 70% of the world's crop. A conveyor belt moves the beans through a cleaning system, a series of seeds, which screen out twigs, stones, and other debris. Next stop is a revolving drum, or micronizer, which heats the cocoa beans to loosen their shells. Then they enter a shell-removing machine, called a winnower. Inside, successive rakes drag the beans across screens, pulling off large pieces of shell. Then, a vacuum sucks away the remaining smaller pieces of shell. Removing the shell exposes the inside of the cocoa bean, which is called the nib. The nibs will be roasted to develop their flavor. Then, hydraulic presses are used to separate the 50 plus percent fat content, which is cocoa butter. Then, to make chocolate, our skilled operators combine processed nibs, chocolate liquor, cocoa butter and sugar, along with milk powder if they're making milk chocolate. But before all that, they'll have to grind the nibs to a liquid state by liberating the cocoa butter through heat and friction at grinding. What's left is pure liquid chocolate, called chocolate liquor. Blommer Chocolate sells these chocolate components. We also use them in-house to make chocolate, the ingredients and proportions varying. The dark chocolate recipe, for example, calls for more chocolate liquor, sugar and cocoa butter, but no milk powder. The recipe for unsweetened chocolate contains no sugar. The mixer blends the ingredients to the consistency of a very thick cake batter. The coarse texture needs to be smoothed out, so the chocolate moves to a refining machine. It passes between a set of five rollers, which reduce the particle size, so much so that within minutes, the chocolate leaves the refiner as a fine dry powder. But now, it needs to be reliquified. So the next stop is a machine called a conch which is where the chocolate flavor is finished. During the conching process, the friction and heat re-liberates the cocoa butter fat, returning the powder to a liquid state, and at the same time helps to round out the desirable flavor notes. At this point, more cocoa butter is added, enough to reduce the viscosity to the exact specification needed. Just a bit, for example, if we're making chocolate chips, or much more if we're making a thin chocolate coating for enrobing. The former feeds a machine called a drop depositor. As the name implies, it deposits drops of chocolate onto a conveyor belt. The nozzle trays are interchangeable, so the machine can be set up to produce various sizes of chips, discs, or other shapes. The chocolate chips, still warm and soft, enter a cooling tunnel. Traveling for about five minutes, through several temperature zones which vary between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius. By the time the chips exit the tunnel, they're hard. A conveyor belt then takes them through a metal detector, a standard food safety precaution. Blommer Chocolate also produces 10-pound block format chocolate bars a depositor fills bar-shaped plastic molds. The conveyor transfers them to an elevator system, which moves through a cold room for about two hours. This constant motion ensures optimal air circulation, helping the cooling process. Chocolate shrinks slightly as it cools, so the bars pop out of the molds easily. To make the chocolate look as good as it tastes, Blommer cools, then reheats the liquid chocolate before depositing it. This process, called tempering, promotes the growth of the most stable cocoa butter crystals. 
making the surface of the chocolate smooth and shiny. This finished chocolate is now ready to ship from our factory to yours.